Hey guys, so this is it. This is the last episode of our whole kind of series on acting for musical theater. Um, I wanna say thank you to all of you guys who have been tuning in and watching. Thank you to the Thai Center. Thank you to Kinsey for giving us this opportunity to bring this to you. Thank you to the Thai Narda Center. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Marta for uploading all of these videos and thank you to you for watching. Um, I have a very special plan for today's video. I had that Q&A with our good friend Mikhail Peterson. So um, you'll see that coming right up. Here you go. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, Mikkel Ray Peterson. <laughs> oh, it's very nice of you. Mikkel is a first place for the Utah High School Musical Theater Shakespeare competition and a three-time consecutive musical theater region and state champ. <laughs> bravo, bravo, bravo. She's also UVU musical theater alumni for our program, graduated last year, and She's my friend. Best so of that, all. Best of all, best of all. So Mikkel, tell us a little bit about your experience in musical theater at UVU. Wow, um, I graduated last year, of course. Um, it's kind of a crazy story. I originally was planning on going to SUU, mm. and uh, I had a scholarship there, and I had been offered a scholarship at UVU, and um, two nights before school started, I left SUU completely and wow. registered for UVU and came there and then they, that semester they were starting their fresh BFA musical theater program and I auditioned and the rest is history. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah, really fun. Okay, um, so a little intro for you. The class that I've been teaching these last three weeks is acting for musical theater. Fun. So I wanted to get your opinions as a graduate in musical theater, as a professional actress, on why acting is important in musical theater, why it's actor first, not a singer or dancer first. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, I have lots of thoughts on that. <laughs> um, I think one of the biggest things that I would say is in musical theater, um, it's about storytelling. And I mm. think that uh, we do need to be good singers and dancers for sure, but um, the difference between being like a, a pop singer or just a vocalist versus a, an actress and a, a storyteller is just that, um, telling a story. And so it's not about perfect vocals or perfect dancing all the time. I think it's about what you bring as a person. It's a little more about um, the unique choices and the sound that you have as a, as a singer. Um, mm -hmm. But it's mostly just about the stories that you're telling through song and dance, and that's wow. the first thing. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. Um, moving into roles that you've done ah. in musical theater, what are your favorite roles? Oh. What have you done? Oh, what a big question. Um, I loved, I played Amalia Balish at UVU my senior year. Um, you were in that with me. I was. It was very fun. Yes. Um, uh, that She Loves Me. Uh, so if you haven't listened to the musical, go give it a listen. It's very it's good. It's fabulous. I'll leave the link. <laughs> listen to it. Please. I love that role. Um, delightfully charming. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Actually. That's your favorite one. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Why was it your favorite? Oh. Um, well, I think going back to your other question about the importance of acting, I yeah. think that it was a fun way to attack really fun songs and some fun comedic songs um, through acting. And it was about morphing the story of kind of a strong-headed woman who was trying to find true love, um, but she's very, very stubborn and she has this very beautiful high classical mm. voice to be able to tell that story. Um, and it was very hard because a lot of the songs were me running around the stage kind of crazy and having to sing high and sing lots of songs and it was a good challenge and a fun role mm. to play. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, something that we've been focusing a lot on in class, our first week we talked about subtext 
and going through a song and kind of breaking it down into the exposition, mm. rising action, that kind of thing. And we talked about um, tactics and verbs mm. and attaching those to specific lines and beats and moments. Yeah. Um, and then second week, we talked about physicality within musical theater and how we justify those. Mm. And our third week, this last week, our last time, I um, went through a piece and just tried to put both of those things together for people. How do you feel like you you did that in in a way? How did you justify your movement mm. with the, the the script and the material that was there? And where did you take your own liberties? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think a lot of what I've learned over the last few years is kind of where the work that you do counts and then where you let go of the work and just have fun with what mm. you're doing. Um, and so of course it's important as you're jumping into a role or a show or a class, you know, whatever you're doing, um, to get to know the script, you gotta know it well, know what the story is about of course, and know kind of the journey that your character is going on and, and why it's important that your character is there in the world of the play. Um, and of course memorization is very important so that you don't have any crutches as far as having to rely on a script or music or anything like that. So, so know your story, memorize your material, and then I think at that point the, the best thing I could say and the most beneficial thing I do for myself is to let it all go and just have a blast mm. with oh, everyone in there. Yeah. I hadn't talked about that, thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, we're in our pajamas. I'm a little embarrassed. I think we should... You know, get go get, get dressed. Yeah. yeah, let's get ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Cool. <clears throat> oh. oh, you look great. So do you. Yeah, so good. Okay. That was very good. Yeah. Yeah. How was your How was your break? It was good. You know, brushed my teeth, got some breakfast. Great. Yeah. How was okay. yours? It was okay. Mm. I had a donut. Well, I have one too. Oh. Should we have another? Yeah. Okay. That's great. What do we do about? Mm. Yeah, we mm. may have to split that at the end. Great. Okay. Okay. Mmm. <clears throat> Great. Okay, so moving back into questions, of I wanted. I've got this one, and it's: What do you wish you had known now that you're ahead of the process? In hindsight, as a beginning actress or actor, like many of these people are watching these videos what would you tell your former self starting the process? Oh, geez. Um, you know, my first musical that I did was in the seventh grade. So mm. I was, um, yeah, just, just getting along. And I think that going back into middle school and high school, I think I would just tell myself, you know, never doubt that you're good enough. Mm. I think one thing that I wish I would have had a little more is just knowing that I'm worth it just because I'm there in the room, whether that's an yeah. audition room, a rehearsal room, a, a performance room. Mm. Um, you're worth it just because you exist and you're a human and the point of theater is to tell the human story. So I love that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, this one is a three-part question. Okay. And we've talked in our videos about getting ready for an audition process, a rehearsal process, and for a performance. And I wanted to ask, how do you prepare yourself physically, emotionally, and vocally mm. for those things? And how are they different, and how are they similar? Ooh, ooh, that's great. Um, mouthful. <laughs> mouthful. Sorry. No, it's good. That's very good. Um, I, I do think they're all very similar and quite different, too. The things that I think um, that hold similarities between audition, rehearsal, and performance, right? Mm -hmm. um, Warm-ups, I think, for all three, for me, have become necessary, and it sounds maybe a little funny, especially before like a rehearsal process, too. Mm -hmm. Like a warm-up, really, I'm gonna warm-up before rehearsal. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that I used to take it a little more seriously, but I just think spending 10 minutes giving myself like a, a five minute vocal warm up, you know, mm -hmm. nothing crazy, a few sirens, just getting getting my vocals going and just doing like a few stretches to get my blood pumping, I think yeah. that's the goal physically. Um, whether that's kind of just like a, you know, some leg stretches and arm stretches or even just like a few jumping jacks to get my, my blood pumping. Um, 
And then I also just kind of like to just feel my feet on the ground and like mm. make sure that I'm present and mm -hmm. that I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, I had a lot of professors who were like, you know, before you go into any audition or rehearsal performance, just stand at the door and leave your day behind and say three good things about yourself mm. and then walk through the door and you're, you're in a good headspace. So I think that's important um, and can benefit everybody. And uh, I would say the difference is too is that an audition you're going to have way more nerves. So I think I spend a little more time on my three nice things. Um, same with the performance because you're nervous. Um, a performance I usually spend a little more, more time on vocal and physical warm ups because I've got to be able to do a two hour performance. Mm -hmm. um, and in the rehearsal space, I feel like I kind of find a balance of each. And I think that it's important to warm up every day before rehearsal, whether that's just a couple minutes stretching or doing a little vocal warm up, kind of whatever you feel like you need that day. Because um, it helps you be able just to have more fun in your rehearsals every night. Yeah, I would agree. Okay, and then our last um, kind of question and kind of prompt is theater horror stories. Oh, What's boy. something that's gone wrong on stage? <laughs> the show must go on, so how do, how do you handle that? Oh dear. Um, the first story that comes to mind is in a production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Which we all know and Which love. we all know and love. And I, it was in the seventh grade. It was the first musical that I ever auditioned for. Wow. Um, and I didn't get it originally very devastating um, and then someone dropped out and I was first on the list so get I, I get in there you know it happens um, I played a sister or not a sister a wife I think mm. one of the wives and um, we had these cool like really long skirts and kind of these really beautiful headdresses with beads and it was very elegant complex costumes and it, I mean for seventh grade mind you um, <laughs> And we had this huge pyramid as our set that we built ourselves as a cast. Team building, right? Yeah. Um, so that being said, it was a little bit rickety. <laughs> you know. Yep. Not the, not the safest platform. And it was nine feet tall to get up to the top. And there were these two staircases on either side that goes up to this platform with this huge pyramid. And we were well in performances. And so I'm doing my thing. We're in the second number. And I'm going up the stairs. And there's this giant nail that's poking out of the the top of the platform. That can't be good. It's the, it, the Absolutely. Next, what comes next is not good. You know now that it's going to end poorly. And um, in front of the whole audience, my skirt got caught on the nail. And I slipped off the staircase and just started swinging. <laughs> off the platform <laughs> and one of the ninth grade boys who was a bit rougher and, and tougher than me just kind of grabbed me by the shoulders and picked me up onto the platform and I just kind of stood there for the rest of the number. Oh my word. So, um... Well I'm glad you were okay. <laughs> me too. And that you're here to tell the tale. Me too. Woof. It's always better to yeah. tell the tale than to not tell the tale. And on that note, mm. thank you for coming, Michael. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Very have good. a good one. You too. Wait, we have to eat the donut. Mm. That's all right, stuff. I'm taking this with me. Good. Cheers. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. It was awesome to be able to talk to Mikkel about her experience with musical theater and all of that. And I hope that you learned a lot during this course. So just to kind of finish it and recap it, we went subtext and textual work week one, second week was physical movement and three was putting it together. Okay, um, have, a, have a great summer. <laughs>